Today, we will talk about e-commerce. Electronic commerce refers to companies and individuals that buy and sell goods and services over the internet, using computers, tablets, smartphones, and other smart devices. Nearly every imaginable product and service is available through e-commerce transactions, including books, music, plane tickets, and financial services such as stock investing and online banking. It is considered a very disruptive technology. E-commerce is the process of buying and selling tangible products and services online. It involves multiple parties and the exchange of data or currency to process a transaction. E-commerce has helped businesses gain access to a wider market presence by providing cheaper and more efficient distribution channels for their products or services. E-commerce also involves a lot of research about the products and services, the market, audience, competition, as well as expected business costs. E-commerce has changed how people shop and consume products and services. More people are turning to their computers and smart devices to order goods, which has disrupted the retail landscape. Individual sellers are also increasingly engaging in e-commerce transactions via their own personal websites. Digital marketplaces like eBay or Etsy also serve as exchanges where multitudes of buyers and sellers come together to conduct business. E-commerce has a history that goes back to before the internet began, and it has gone through a great deal of evolution. Traditional brick-and-mortar retailers were forced to embrace new technology in order to stay afloat as companies like Alibaba, Amazon, eBay, and Etsy became household names. New technology continues to make it easier for people to do their online shopping, and the introduction of free shipping has also helped increase the popularity of the e-commerce industry. Depending on the goods, services, and organization of an e-commerce company, they can operate in several different ways, including business-to-consumer, business-to-business, B2B, business-to-government, B2G, consumer-to-consumer, C2C, consumer-to-business, C2B, and consumer-to-government, C2G. In addition to crafting what type of e-commerce company a business wants to be, they must decide how they want to make money. There are several revenue models, including dropshipping, white labeling, wholesaling, private labeling, and subscription services. Amazon is a behemoth in the e-commerce space. It is the world's largest online retailer and has continued to grow since its founding in 1994 as an online bookstore. The company has expanded to include everything from clothing to housewares, power tools to food and drinks, and electronics. Make sure you do your research before you start your business. Figure out what products and services you're going to sell and look into the market, target audience, competition, and expected costs. An e-commerce website is any site that allows you to buy and sell products and services online. Companies like Amazon and Alibaba are examples of e-commerce websites. E-commerce involves the purchase and sale of goods and services online and is just one part of e-business. E-business involves the entire process of running a company online. An e-commerce company can sell to customers, businesses, or agencies such as the government. E-commerce can also be performed by customers who sell to businesses, other customers, or governments. Here are three key takeaways. 1. E-commerce is the buying and selling of goods and services over the internet. 2. It can be a substitute for brick-and-mortar stores, though some businesses choose to maintain both. 3. E-commerce operates in several market segments including business-to-business, business-to-consumer, consumer-to-consumer, and consumer-to-business. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.